Hey buddy, alright, we're back in it. We're going to be solving a differential equation now. We're branching off from single variable calculus into differential calculus, which is a big step from baby engineering to baby mathematics. Now, let's solve this bad boy. This differential equation is pretty straightforward. If you can't solve this one by now, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to tell you, probably leave the exam room and probably smash your head against the wall and go get an English degree. Okay, that was way too uh, harsh on that one, but all you got to do is make this thing separable. When, when you make things separable, you say, this is separable, this is separable. Uh, anyway, uh, you make this equal negative uh, 3y. Uh, treat this as a fraction. I don't care. Differentials, infinitesimals, uh, uh, logarithmic notation, all that stuff. To forget about it. All you do is make this thing a fraction, separate them, and make them um, marry themselves together later on in the equation when they're more implicit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, uh, you go dy uh over three no what am i doing uh yes actually i am doing it correctly uh you do that and that's gonna equal dx and we integrate that bad boy um you gotta remember this one this one you gotta have it ingrained in your heart as well as your brain um i don't mean that literally but metaphorically uh this is gonna be negative one third ln of y that's the memorization that you need to remember from high school calculus which is not that tough to remember but pretty interesting uh so we get x over here we're gonna get a plus c there should be a plus c on the left side but they're gonna be at all adding uh up to the same constant so you can just keep it as one plus c on one side here this is your uh general solution you can leave it like this implicitly that's fine uh we're gonna plug in zero for x and y equals four so we could find that fancy constant so we're gonna get negative one third ln of four and then we're going to set that equal to c uh, because x is zero so that is your solution uh, to the constant so in general i would argue this is your goddamn solution and you turn this bad boy in but knowing the test examiners are the one who administer the exam they want you to do some fancy algebra for some goddamn reason and let me tell you i don't know why either I've been trying to figure it out for 14 goddamn years, and I'm only, I just turned two last week. Uh, so we solve this uh, explicitly by just basic uh, algebraic manipulation. Mm, when I say algebraic, I mean algebra two because we have a natural log here. Not really nice, but not too fancy either. So let's multiply by a negative three. So we do ln of one. This is gonna be a negative three plus an ln of four. Hopefully I did that correctly. Uh, then we e both sides. Uh, e to the y, or scratch that, uh, y, e to the negative 3 plus ln of 4. Uh, I, I feel like I'm mix, missing an x somewhere. Why am I missing an x? There's an x. Okay. Uh, what you do here, uh, you can leave it like this. Technically, this is the algebraic solution or the implicit solution uh, or explicit solution. I'm mixing, I'm saying so many words, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, but you can actually, I know your A, B, C, all the way to F, uh, multiple choice is not going to have this as the answer. So you got to break this up a little bit further. So negative 3x multiplied again by E uh, to the ln of 4. Uh, this actually cancels out. The E and the ln kind of get together um, and do their own kind of thing and just leave 4 by itself. Uh, so essentially what happens is that we get y equals 4e to the negative 3x. Now that is the solution to the particular solution given the boundary condition of y of 0 equals 4. Now, this is probably the easiest as it's going to get um, in this FE exam, but let me tell you, it is. Uh, see you.